so the Compassion Tour, that's the Compassion International? Yes, Compassion. Uh, do you want to say anything about like, your partnership with them or like, anything you know them over the years? Yeah, I've been a longtime partner of Compassion International, and uh, they invited me to come and headline a Christmas tour this year, as well as next spring's uh, annual road show, which will be a great thing. I'd say the, the most special part about the partnership is the chance I get to take trips with them to different third world countries and see firsthand what uh, an amazing nonprofit organization is doing. It's important for me if I'm going to endorse an organization from my platform. I think all the artists feel the same that you know we really need to see it with our own eyes and uh, Compassion gives us the opportunity to do that. So I think I've taken three different trips with Compassion International. Every time I go I wind up uh, sponsoring a child from that region so those trips are getting expensive but uh, that's money well spent and uh, it's been a life-changing experience just being able to kind of see how our platform in every city could be used for a greater cause even beyond our music and uh, so that's an exciting partnership and I love compassion so yes hi you have accomplished a lot over the years what's something that's still on your bucket list that you really want to do Something that's still on my bucket list that I would want to do. Well, this is kind of funny, actually, because um, I've been an artist for a long time, but I never had a dub award. And I was nominated several times, but the funny part of that story is there, there has been one dub award in my home, and that is my wife is the only one. That's, that's a trivia question. Uh, up until tonight, my wife was the only one who had ever won a dub award in our family. And uh, because my first album won the award for best album packaging, which means the music didn't win, but the cover sure looked nice. And uh, my wife was one of the wardrobe stylists on that photo shoot. So they presented her with the dub award, and uh, I went over five the rest of that night. Uh, so tonight, I think our bookshelf will be finally even, so I'm, I'm excited about that. So I would consider this a bucket list for sure. Well, you're Songwriter of the Year. Congratulations. Thank you. So what are some of the things that inspired you on the writing of the project All In? Well, i got to say, no offense to the other categories, but the ones that are near and dear to my heart uh, have <laughs> to do with the songwriting. Uh, you know, that's, that's kind of, that's in my blood. I'm a storyteller at heart. Yeah. I started my career writing songs behind the scenes for other artists, and now I get the chance to make my own records and still work with other artists as well. So to win that award tonight was really special. Uh, you know, as far as the inspiration that goes into my music, it really comes down to that word, story. And you'll hear that word a lot at nights like this because we're all storytellers getting to retell the greatest story ever told. I'm really passionate about encouraging the people that listen to my music that their story matters. So really over the last several years, I've had this unique bond with my fans and supporters where they have an open door to send me their story, send me their testimony. And I've collected over 40,000 stories and counting from all around the country, all around the world. I take those stories with me to a cabin once a year. And I just, I spend time reading my Bible and reading people's stories and songs come out of that experience. So on every one of my albums, there's, a, there's at least a handful of songs that were actually inspired by somebody who's sitting in the audience at one of my concerts. And uh, that's really forged some unique connections with uh, my fans, but also some unique friendships. Uh, one of the songs on my latest record, All In, a song called Never Ever Give Up, was inspired by a sweet girl whose mom would take her to my concerts as she was battling a uh, terminal form of cancer. And they would uh, check in and out of the Philadelphia Children's Hospital. They called it the CHOP, the Children's Hospital. And one night she said, backstage, I took her on a tour to see our bus and meet the band. And she said, hey, you write people's stories, right? I said, yeah. She said, well, how come you never told my story? How come you never wrote a song for me? And I said, all right, well, what do you want me to call your song? And she said, I want you to call it Never Ever Give Up. And so I wrote her that song and had the chance to travel to the Philadelphia Children's Hospital and perform that song for her before she went to be with the Lord. And, uh, and so there's moments like that when these artists make the records, like when we make these records, man, when we say it's blood, sweat, and tears, man, we mean it. Like these songs mean a lot to us and these awards are a nice recognition, but to me it all comes down to the power of a story and how God can step in to the most broken parts of our stories and make a change. Thank you all so much. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.